Hello friends, welcome back to our channel, EduJob360. Are you an Indian student studying abroad, including Gulf, as a PIO, person of Indian origin, NRI, non-resident Indian, or OCI, overseas citizen of India? You are required to be aware of the direct admission process for engineering courses at NITs, I2ITs, and certain other institutes through DASA in conjunction with your JEE main score. To gain a comprehensive understanding of the DASA admission process, watch this video from beginning to conclusion. The Ministry of Education, MOE, of the Government of India permits admission for Indian students residing abroad via DASA, contingent upon their JEE main score. Approximately 4,400 BTEC seats and 130 B Arch B planning seats are allocated for DASA, registered Indian students residing abroad. For BTEC admission, in addition to the fundamental eligibility criteria, the Indian student must have completed a minimum of eight years of education, including the qualifying examination in a foreign country. Students qualifying for architecture and planning programs must have a minimum of 60% or a 6.0 CGPA in their 12th grade. Please check for any changes to this rule on the DASA website following your JEE main exam. Link of DASA website is given in the description below. Does Gulf have any quota for children of Indian workers? Yes. 5% of the overall DASA seat allocation is reserved for children of Indian workers from Gulf, CIWG countries including UAE, Bahrain, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, Iraq, and Iran. If a student qualifies for the CIWG quota and is an NRI as well, could he or she apply for both? The answer is yes. They can fill their choices for both the categories as they will be shown options under both. However, the candidate has to deposit initial fee as applicable to DESA. In case the candidate is allotted a seat under CIWG quota, the balance fee paid will be refunded. What all documents to be submitted for CIWG quota? 1. Copy of the passport of the parent working in Gulf. 2. Copy of the parent's visa with a validity on any date in the admission year. 3. Copy of the parent's work permit with a validity on any date in the admission year. 4. Certificate from the employer slash company, organization, as proof that parent is working in any one of the Gulf countries mentioned earlier. 5. If a parent has been working in Gulf till any date in the admission year, then the certificate stating the same. Who are eligible for certain percentage of the tuition fee waiver? Foreign nationals, who are nationals of SARC countries, except India, are eligible for 50% tuition fee waiver, as of 2024, provided they have passed the qualifying examination in SARC countries. What is the DASA application process? After the JE main result is declared, the candidate has to first register through DASA website, link given below in the description. Next, all relevant documents are to be uploaded as asked in DESA application form. Then to pay the requisite fee. Here is a list of some important documents to be uploaded. Scanned signature and photograph of the student. Copy of applicant's passport, except for Nepal. Citizenship card copy. Proof of date of birth. Mark sheet of 10th, 11th, and 12th or equivalent examinations. Certificate from school authorities as instructed as a proof of completing 11th and 12th standard or equivalent G main final score showing percentile. And CIWG category candidates must submit other specified documents as instructed. What is the counseling process of DASA? Eligible candidates will be allotted a seat on the basis of their JEE main score, and they must indicate one of the following choices. 1. Accept. If you accept and wish to take the seat allotted, you must report to the Institute for Document Verification after paying the fee online. Accept and upgrade. This is the option to be chosen when you wish to look for allotment of a higher choice in your application form. 
2. However, you must pay the seat acceptance fee and download the allotment letter. 2. You must wait for the next rounds and where, if you are allotted a new seat, the earlier allotted seat will be cancelled. 3. Decline. This is the option when you do not wish to take the allotted seat and wish to withdraw from the counseling process. How many rounds of counseling are held in DASA? Generally, three rounds are held, followed by a special round in case of any vacancies. The third round has only two options of accept or decline the allotted seat. What is the process of internal sliding? Internal sliding is for admissions to the vacancies for other branches than the allotted one in the same institute. To know more about freezing, floating, and sliding, choices in DASA, please watch one of our videos in our channel, Adu Job 360, the link of which is given below in the description. What is the process for a candidate who has not been allotted a seat in any round? Such a candidate can opt for exit from the process or can agree to participate in the special vacancy round. If the candidate has not indicated any option, he, she, will be presumed to be participating in the special round. What is the surrender option? Candidates who are allotted seats in JOSA and DASA must surrender one of the seats. They can only avail admissions in either JOSA allotted seat or DASA allotted seat. Such candidates may continue to participate in the special round of CSAB, DASA, after retaining one of the seats. However, it should be noted that if candidates do not surrender one of the two seats within the stipulated time, both the seats will be cancelled. In case they are allotted a seat in the special round, they will have to give up the earliest seat. Be thorough with this process of DASA CIWG counseling and also of JOSIA. Plan well in advance to choose the right choice for you. Hope this video is useful for abroad Indian students, especially those Indian students, studying in any one of the eight Gulf countries. To know more, subscribe to EduJob360 and share with your friends or family members. EduJob360 wishes you best of luck for your prosperous future.